we've all been there. You want to create an amazing gradient like the one in a Stripe website or in many other websites and compositions which you see nowadays, but you don't really know how to achieve that effect. Now I got you covered because in this video I'm going to show you both amazing resources where you can find free gradients for your design projects as well as a free method in order to create amazing gradients in no time even if you don't have any particular experience with them. And just before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. So if you're interested in that, check the link in the description. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So let's get started with the very first resource, which I highly recommend you to check out. And this is from LS Graphics. It's a free mesh gradient collection which uh, basically enables you to access a pack with a hundred free gradients uh, which uh, as you can see over here they look absolutely stunning and they could work well with a range of different uh, design projects uh, and uh, as you can see as we scroll down we can see different uh, type of gradients uh, more complex less complex uh, and uh, i just think that Overall, these gradients, they really look uh, uh, great and uh, highly recommend you to check them out. Once you download the free pack, which uh, you can essentially uh, find right here, you simply click on download, you enter the email, and then you're going to receive immediately the free gradient uh, pack. And uh, as you can see, there's like just so many and the more you scroll down you can see also these lighter versions which work well especially if you want to keep a minimal designs i'm thinking about websites i'm thinking about uh, even backgrounds uh, of uh, onboarding experiences they just add uh, like so much uh, to it and uh, this would be the very first research now let's move on to the very next one. Just before we hop into Figma, and I'm going to show you an amazing plugin still by LS Graphics in order to create an amazing gradient. And the second resource is uigradients.com. Now, as you can see, you can literally go through all sorts of different type of gradients uh, by simply clicking. You can also use the arrows to move back and forth and uh, click also on uh, show gradients over here. You can quickly skim through all sorts of different gradients and uh, of course uh, you can uh, create and edit uh, uh, your own uh, uh, schemes. You can add a gradient for example right here and uh, you can uh, also get uh, the JPEG or the CSS code as well as rotating the gradient. Now let's hop on to Figma since I want to show you this plugin and it's really going to blow your mind. All right, so we're back in Figma and now let's go under plugins and uh, you're going to find this uh, uh, plugin right here if you don't have it already, which uh, is very likely if you're seeing this video. Simply go on browse plugins in community and search for mesh gradient. So you're going to find it right away. It's going to be this one here, even if I just write mesh and like search under plugins, uh, you're going to find uh, this one. Just check uh, for the latest updated. And as you can see, I still have uh, the previous one. So that's uh, good to know. Uh, let's uh, hop under plugins uh, and uh, let's uh, use uh, which one is it? The last one? <laughs> of course, these things happen only on recorded videos. Let's, uh, and basically I clicked, uh, and now I'm uh, just waiting. It takes a moment, uh, but good things comes to those who wait. All right, and uh, here we have this gradient. Uh, and as you can see, this already looks really cool, but what you can do here is that you can change uh, these values and you can create your own uh, very personalized gradient. You can change the color. You can really like go ahead and uh, and, and really make uh, this uh, your very own uh, experience, if that makes sense. So definitely very, very cool. You can add uh, also different points. You can decide the number of mesh points. And uh, basically this gives you even more granular options as to the gradients. And you can also create uh, some uh, random gradients. So as you can see, some of these are pretty uh, strong, <laughs> if that makes sense. If we 
just change the number of mesh points to two by two. This already simplifies a bit. Uh, if we make it one by one, you can essentially go through these gradients. And then, uh, of course, you can decide, uh, okay, I, I really like uh, uh, this type of gradient or, or this other one. Let's add a little bit more mesh points and maybe let's recreate some, some of those styles. And once you're done with that, uh, um, you can, uh, so this is a gradient that uh, I recently created for a project. You can go ahead and generate it uh, if it's in 1x or 2x or even like 5x, which is going to essentially help you to create uh, or enable you to create an, um, uh, a very big gradient. If we select 2x and we click on generate, you can see that now I have this uh, really big gradient. Uh, and uh, if I, for example, selected 5x, click on generate, you can see how this is even bigger. It's 2,500 pixels um, in uh, height and width. And this is going to you know, work for pretty much any case scenario, especially if you're working on web or mobile apps. So this is definitely uh, very big and uh, it's uh, enough for really the, the vast majority of uh, case scenarios. So I really hope uh, this uh, video was helpful. So again, um, just check out these uh, resources. And I also want to remind you that on my YouTube channel, you're going to find uh, over 500 videos sharing my over decade of experience in uh, UI UX design and the web design. And uh, I also recently launched this uh, free course on how to get started in UI UX design. And it's essentially going to bring you through all of the things that I wanted to know when I first started out in this field, which was over a decade ago. And basically all of the things that nobody was telling me and that uh, I wanted to know when I first started out. So I really hope uh, this is going to give you a head start into this field. And um, again, if you have uh, any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up since this helps me out. Uh, and also the algorithm, because you know how it is these days. <laughs> so let's uh, continue and we're going to, uh, I'm going to see you in the next video.